What's up everybody? Welcome back to another how-to video. Today's video will be how to properly inflate a car tire. First, what are some signs that you need air in your tires? You can inspect the tires and see if maybe they're a little squishy at the end, like if one is different than the others. Then it might need some air. Also, in modern cars, there will be a warning light on the dash. Check left front tire pressure. And also an indicator light showing low pressure. So now that you've decided that you need air in your tires, you need to know how much air to put in. So therefore, you need to know how much air your tires need. You will see on the sidewall of tires that it lists a max load at a pressure. This says 44 PSI. That is not the pressure that your tires need to be inflated to. The correct operating pressure will be on the label or jam of your car. For this vehicle, the front tire is 30 PSI, the rear tire is 30 PSI, and the spare tire is 60 PSI. So we're going to inflate the front tire to 30 PSI as specified. Air is added to the tire at the valve stem. You rotate the cap and remove it, which reveals the valve. There's a little button here. When the button is pressed down, air can go in and out of the tire. In order to measure the pressure in the tire, you'll need a tire pressure gauge. There are several different kinds of gauges. Some common ones are a mechanical needle gauge, where the needle points to the pressure, an electronic gauge, which displays the pressure on a screen, and the old stick gauge. The stick pops out, and you have to read the value on the stick. Let's measure the current pressure in this tire. First with the stick gauge. You have to press it on and get a good seal. If you hear air, that means it's just leaking around and you're not getting an accurate measurement. So, this gauge is measuring 22 PSI. Let's try the electronic gauge. The electronic gauge measured 21 PSI. And the mechanical gauge also measures 21 PSI. It'll hold the current pressure reading until you press the button to reset it. The current pressure in this tire is 21 PSI, which is too low. The required pressure is 30 PSI. So now it is time to add air to the tire. To add air to the tire, you'll need an air compressor. You can use one at a gas station, or maybe you'll have your own that looks something like this. And the business end looks like that. We'll push this onto the valve, and air is currently being inserted into the tire. There's no way to measure as you're applying it. You just have to add some and then check to see where you're at. Now we're at 26 PSI, getting closer to 30. Let's add a little more. Almost there. Let's add a little bit more. That should do it. 30 PSI on the money. This tire is now good to go. Replace the valve stem cover and secure it firmly. Now you're all set. Subscribe and check out more videos soon to come. We're uploading how-to videos every day or once a week. See you in the next video. Oh my gosh, this wind is ridiculous.
Holy cow. Dude, go block the wind. <laughs> I'm just joking. Alright, we're ready to go.